I am going to be showing you how I made this three step pleated peplum 70 degree flay for my client who loved the results. See her dancing. In my very last video, I showed you guys how to make the bustier part of the top, which is a, um, a dart bustier padded that bustier in case you haven't seen it i have a link of it in the description box and in the comment section you can check it out and but this particular part which is a part two i'll be doing the three step hep long that you saw in the beginning of this video so the first part of doing the peplum a 1440 degree peplum i'm going to be doing it in fours that is 180 180 times four for three steps so now i'm drawn to draw a line to cut out after folding the cloth to cut out the three steps that i want to use on them so i'm going to go ahead and measure the length for each of the steps the first step is going to be by five inches the second step is going to be by nine inches as in the length i'm talking about the length and the third is going to be by 12 or 13 inches if you don't understand what i'm trying to explain don't worry i'm going to use a paper illustration to explain to you but first let me just cut out the portions that i'm going to use to create the peplum okay i'm going to paper illustration to explain as well so i've cut out the one of the steps you can see me i folded it back into four after folding it i put in one side folded it into four so that it comes out as a round part if you didn't understand this part let me use a paper illustration to explain okay so this is a paper i want to use to illustrate different degree peplum so now if you're talking about a certain you're going to measure fold it like this a normal peplum you fold it like this and then for a 360 degree peplum you fold it like this and then you fold it back again yeah and then you take the waist measurement divide it by four because we fold it into four now are you getting so you have one two three four and you divide it by four and then you you take your waist measurement here divided by four so if your waist is 28 that means the circle here that you would take should be seven meaning that you can measure maybe one and a half or two inches and the total here should be seven and then you measure the part that the length that you want to cut it from depending on the length of the uh, material so you want to cut the length you want to cut it from here so this is how you get a 360 Okay, so this is this is what I mean. By the time you take your tape around here, it should give you, if your waist is 28 inches, it should give you 7. Okay, 7. Because you're going to divide it by 4. Alright? This one depends on the length of material you want your peplum to be. But this is the, so it's divided by 4 for a 360. Okay? Okay, now for a... 720 usually divided by 8 that's you fold it like this and fold it like this and still come back and fold it again like this that way you're going to have eight eight pieces yeah you will count it to be eight so this is the point this point is where you will measure divided by eight okay the waist divided by eight that's it was 28 inches that means the waist will be three and a half here and then you take your measurement length from here i don't know if you can see okay this is for a 720 now a 1440 is divided by 16 the waist is divided by 16. it is when you're doing all this division by 8 and 16 materials end up throwing away so what people do is that they either take it by 360 for 720 if you want to do 720 they do 360 two times but and they do the 360 in such a way that they will bend the material like this and like this are you getting and then divide this side by eight that's the waist by eight okay instead of dividing the waist by four which is 360 divide the waist by eight it is actually four here by eight 
and then also you know give your length and do the same to another one so you have two of this do you understand instead of one you have two of these so that your material does not go to waste the rest of the material doesn't go to waste so divided by eight times two of this now you do it two of this okay now if you're going to go through the one four forty which is the one i want to do four times let me show you what i am going to be doing on this material so for this particular tutorial that i'm doing i'm doing one four forty degree flip out so what i did is i fold it and then i fold it again and i take this part divided by 16 because i'm going to use this times four okay so four of this i'm going to use the waist measurement focus okay the waist measurement by 16. so when time if you say your waist is 28 inches that means this will be let's say one point something inches that should by the time this place goes circle should be one point something inches if your waist is 28 take for example so it will be 28 divided by 16 should be my result here and i'm going to do this four times to get my 180 don't forget to add allowance when you're taking the waist measurement okay i hope this understanding this is what i'm going to do in the material because the material was not close enough for me to show you but i'm still going to show you on the material it is going to be four like i said so you just measure divided by 16 here divided by 16 that's the circle by the time you divide by the time you take your measuring tape around it it should be let's see if it's 28 if it's 28 inches that's it's going to be divided by 16 is going to give you about one point something so you add your allowance maybe giving you 1.5 so what you now do after that is to cut it sorry my light went off my battery went down so you cut it like this you cut the four of them like this okay i'm just trying to give you a quick illustration before going back to the material you cut the four of them like this okay so now that i've cut the four of them when you open it you're going to see that it's going to be round like this okay it's going to be round so you're just going to cut one end of it you know when you, as in by the time you're cut you cut all four one end you can see that when you cut one it naturally gives you that peplum look it just it just on its own gives you that peplum you know beauty on it so i'm done cutting all of them so what you actually do is to join the, them together at the edges, okay? It will now give you that beautiful peplum. So if you divide it by 16, this would have been one quarter of the waist, all right? This would have been one quarter of the waist, all right? So this is what I am doing for my this tutorial you are seeing right now. Okay, so I'm going to practice what I did on the paper here. So I'm taking one inch from the midpoint at the beginning. And then you know create a circle and check if the measurement is you know divided by 16 this person's waist here is about 36 so I divided that by 16 I also added enough allowance for it for the joining and the pleating don't forget it's a pleated peplum so take for example if the division ends up at one and a half I would have made it two for both allowance and the pleated part of the peplum so right now i want to take the length of the peplum this is the first part of the peplum the first step and this first step the material i folded it by five inches the second is by eight inches and the third is by 12 inches so that they would show on each step so right now i'm trying to draw out the circle at the end of the smallest parts just like i gave you on the paper illustration So after drawing out the line, um, the circle, you know, line, I'm going to use scissors to cut it out. If you're not seeing clearly, don't worry. I'm going to bring it closer for you to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to cut it out and then use it to trace the remaining three. Okay. So 
so this is what it now looks like um let me bring it closer so that you can see and i'm going to use it to trace you know the next three that's to make it four for the first step okay so i placed the one i just did on top of the one on the four just to trace it out so that they are all equal so this is what i'm doing as you can see i just folded that one exactly into four and then trace it out okay you can see i've done the second one for the first step okay so this is what it actually ends up looking like so i'm just going to go ahead and do the remaining two now if you can get that explanation with the folding let me do it with the material so i can see very well so i folded it like this into two like this first into two and then i folded it back again just a part of it so that i can keep using it so i just folded a part of it like this all right and then started taking the measurement i explained so i'm going to go ahead and use that same one i just cut out to trace the next that's the third one for the first step so this is after i was done you can see i've done the four for the first step okay now i want to move over to the second step which i folded just the way i explained and this one is by nine inches length okay nine inches length this one is the second step that we are actually trying to achieve here and it's the same waist measurement they are going to take the only difference is that it's probably going to be wider and longer because of course it's second step so it has to be longer than the first step okay this is how you measure the circumference of your waist after dividing it by 16 okay this is how you measure it to see if this is going to give you the waist measurement divided by 16 don't forget allowance for pleating and joining you have joining this four times okay so the next thing i'm doing right now is to draw out the circumference of the, the length so i'm just going to mark it at different points and then join the points together if you have a curve ruler you can use a curve ruler to join the points together to give you a very neat look but i'm just going to point put them at different points and then join them together so if you didn't understand what i meant by getting the point say take you point your put your tape here just like i put on the material and you're taking a measurement from here to this point let's say this is five inches when you take your tape again you take it from this point you take a measure make sure it is meeting at five inches here and you take another one and measure and make sure it's at five inches here you take another one and measure and make sure it meets at five inches you take another one and measure and make sure it meets at five inches then you join the lines of these points together so that it gives you a very equal you know cone for you to cut the peplum okay that's what i mean so that's what i'm doing right here i'm just marking those points to join them together okay so I'm done marking the point and I've drawn the line on it and now I want to cut it out just like I did the first step. So this is what it looks like i'm going to go ahead and use this and trace the remaining three for the second step then cut and trace that of the third step of camera and then come back and show you what they all look like okay i'm done so this is the first step this is the second step and this is the third step and i did them in fours you can see one two three four and the same for the others in fours so i'm going to head over to my lining where i'm going to also trace this on my lining using the ankara but I'm, it's a different way of tracing it now because lining is so soft you can't fold it in the same method you use in tracing so this one you just fold it into two like i'm folding it here just make sure it is plain when folding just 
a part of it into two that is about the same length with the one you want to trace okay and then i'm going to pick my ankara right now and then after that i'm going to open it into two not i'm not just going to place it the way it is like this yeah open it into like this place it place all of the ones that are there and then trace them out and get head over to the next one fold the material to the length and then trace again for the other steps this is for the first step sure they are plain and lat down because lining is really really sh soft and it can't shift so you need to make sure it is plain and lapped down so when you are done putting it lapping it down and tracing it you open it totally and then place it on a stay that is a gum stay and then you iron it essence of using a gum stay is so that the clothes can stand when you're done with the finishing so after ironing it you trace them them out both the inner part and the outer part okay you trace it out let me show you an example of the ones i've traced you can see now i've traced one of the ankara out and then i cut out the a midpoint that i showed with the paper illustration so after tracing i cut it out let me show you another one this one is with the lining okay i traced out you know the lining this one is with lining with stay you can see after tracing it out i just cut out the midpoint um in a one just one point just cut it out and then i want to go ahead and then sew it okay to sew this you actually put the ankara or the material facing each other backwards and then you sew it on the stay that's you take the two at the back sew it on the stay and then you do the same for the lining you know separately you sew the lining together that's the edge of the part where you cut out you face them backward okay backward like this and then you put it and sew all right so you just see as i'm yeah i just placed it now like this and then i'm just sewing that angle that's just it it's very simple so let's go ahead and start sewing i'm doing that with the anchor first So that's pretty much how to actually you know sew it i join them all of the four together all right you just leave one um, um one edge you just yeah this is how you just join them together you do the same you know for the lining so when you're done you go ahead and sew the ends of the both the lining and the material at the end edge the end you just the ends together this end here i'm showing you you just sew that part that round part together that end you make sure they are facing backwards so once you're done sewing this is what it's going to look like the whole part that you sewed you can see they are both facing that the materials are inside uh, just look at what it looks like you sew them on the stay i sewed it around all through and then you just put your hand inside and then turn it out okay this is just it's very simple you just put your hand inside and then you turn it out because it's um, gum stay paper it will you know be a bit folded rough so when you're done turning it out you go ahead and iron it so you just turn out all of them all of them and smoothen it when you're turning it out just make sure you turn out everything i've gone ahead to go and iron it so this is what the result looks like this is how it looks it's actually very very beautiful this is the first step okay this is the first step of the peplum and this is what it looks like so this one that one is the second step the one i'm showing right now is the one for the second step okay and then this one here is the third step you can see is way longer this is the one for the third step so i'm going ahead to start pleating it okay so I'm, i put them together like this and then use a pin and needle just to hold it so when i put it together just so you do understand i put it together i make sure the three of them are on top of each other 
that's the first step then the under the second one is under and the third one is just right under it and i just put them together hold them to pl get the pleating correctly with office pin so i just pleat it here like this fold it in like this are you seeing me right now and then pin that place okay that's the easiest way pin it you can use a needle and thread to hold it as well if you are scared you pin that place and then you go ahead do the next one and then you pin again to get the pleating so i pleat the top pleat the down and pleat the third one as well so you can see i'm going ahead to pleat the second one here i pleat the second one in the opposite direction so if i pleat the first one in the or in the same direction i pleat the other one opposite direction and pleat this one also another in the direction of the first one so the second one is opposite to the first and the third so that when the peplum is on the clothes it would just stand out instead of just following the same direction if you can see what i'm trying to do this is how it is okay so you can see the peplum what will have look like when it's pleated it has that hole those space hole in between and then you just pin it so now i'm done sewing it round after pinning it i just went ahead and sewed the top part that I had pinned together and now this is what it looks like you can see the pleated part this is the back and this is the front you can see the part i pleated you can see how it looks like i'm just going to go ahead and then join it on the top um, of the clothes the part that i had done in the part one of this video which is the bustier breast pad i'm just going to go ahead and then join it you know together just at the edge here joining it in opposite directions so i'm going ahead to place them in opposite directions like the material is inverted inside to sew okay so that's what i'm trying to do place them well it's hard to get this part because the down part which is the peplum is going to be very thick and then in this part you use a bigger needle to sew okay just so that it does not um, break or cut or even difficult to sew so i just place them on that make sure it is very smooth to sew okay that's very very simple it's just that's just what you do and you just place it and then you start sewing so this is the result after joining it okay you can see how it came out this is the back i'm not even holding it well i'm trying to bring out the breast part um when i'm done ironing it you'll see the result better this is what it actually looks like right now and then i just place it on top of um, something for you to see better to see the pleated part of the peplum and then this is what my client finally look like after wearing it see how beautiful she looks on this outfit and the pleated part of the peplum is showing this is a three-step peplum if you like this video like my client loved the outfit and she's dancing with it please subscribe like share and comment okay thank you